Welcome to Detronics Technical Brief Number 325, Checking a Combustible Gas Sensor Life. The Detronics Combustible Gas Sensor is a standalone catalytic bead pellister technology sensor that is used to detect combustible gases. It requires external electronics to convert its millivolt output to a usable form. The CGS will be connected to a UD10 in this video. Together, they become a gas detection technology that fits into the gas detection point strategy. This video will cover the CGS theory of operation, connecting the CGS to the UD10, and clicking through to find a millivolt value that represents the life of the sensor. Let's get started. Here is a CGS sensor connected to a UD10 universal display. As I said in the introduction of this video, the CGS sensor requires external electronics to convert the sensor's millivolt output into a usable output. The UD10 uses a CGS interface board to do this. To get to it, you must remove the cover, then the display electronics, and here it is. Now let's take a look at how the sensor works. The technology uses two platinum, a metal that changes resistance when heated, wire wound components, one encapsulated with a catalytic compound, one not, that are part of a Wheatstone bridge. The two components are heated up to 500 degrees C when power is applied. When a combustible gas migrates through the sensor's center filter, it comes in contact with the two sensors. One will change resistance different than the other, which in turn will change the millivolt output of the Wheatstone bridge. The CGS interface board will convert the millivolt output to a usable form for the UD10 display board. The operating temperature of the sensors and the exposure of the catalyst to the target gas shortens the life of the sensor, which is why it is important to know if the sensor is still within its useful life. So here is the only way for you to get an indication that the combustible gas sensor is at the end of its useful life. The UD10 LCD. One of the features of the UD10 is a non-intrusive system that allows the user to configure, calibrate, or simply access data without having to take the cover off. It has four magnetic activated hotspots that are used to navigate through the menu. Detronics offers a magnet designed specifically for this task. Let's start at the UD10 main menu. You will start accessing the menu by clicking on the icon with the three dots. Good. We need to work our way to the device status. We click on the down arrow until the device status is highlighted. Now, enter. You will find the sensor life information in the calibration log. Click down until the calibration log is highlighted. Then enter. What you need to look at is the span millivolt value. The millivolt value isn't a direct or current value to estimate the sensor's end of life. It is an indirect way to estimate the end of life of the sensor that is logged every calibration. It is the millivolt value out of the sensor with span gas applied the last time the sensor was calibrated. So let's stop for a second. It is important to understand this value is not the current state of the sensor. It was the millivolt value of the sensor at the last calibration, or on October 27, 2023. Notice, there is no time estimate here, as a sensor life is actually dependent on the hours the elements are powered and the amount of the target gas it is exposed to. But if the millivolt is tracked, it could become useful for scheduling a replacement versus having demand maintenance. This video was developed by Detronics Educational Services. Here is contact information if you have comments or you would like more information.